Which is? Yes, Simba. It's all yours. What about that dark shadowy place? That's New Jersey. We never go there. <laughs> Full of Undertale. Austin has a girlfriend. Austin has a girlfriend. I do. And it's quite nice. No, I don't know the feeling. I've only known the feeling of my right hand. That's a dirty, dirty lie. Yeah, we're back, you unprofessional fuck. I guess we're going to be keeping all that in. Yeah, no. We, yes, no. But kind maybe, of, maybe. Kind of. Uh, the New Jersey part, and then Austin has a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, Austin, last time we left off. We left were, off in the Hotlands. We left off in the Hotlands after hanging out with Undyne. Oh, and Alphys. Uh, I'm not doing the voice for all her phone calls. We'll, we'll be here for like 30 minutes. Get the fucking cursor out of the fucking screen. Oh, God. oh yeah. Can we turn that down a little bit? It might, the mic be picking up. Oh, the mic will pick up my dick. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, <laughs> it gets. I in can't the way. wait. I can't wait when we do the genocide run. Gets in the way, not in purpose or anything. And you kill it. <laughs> uh, approach it. You get close to this into your plane, but not too close. Eh, <laughs> human. Oh, Ooh, ooh uh, that's good. Green is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you're. She's getting a crush on you. <laughs> Consenting barrel, condescending barrel. Flirt. You tell that you like its taste in movies and books. You sicko. She didn't like that. Oh, oh god, what are these things? Nah, they're little minions. She, they're, um, they're fucking you in the butt. You Approach. Get... Take it. Take it in the butt. Did you die? Did I die? I died. Oh my god, dude, you lost it. Not even a boss. Not even a boss, just a random enemy. You loser. I didn't Sorry even... for stay determined. Did you, did you gotta you... go. The, you gotta go to the way that you ran into that monster. Uh, this is Undertale Seven, if you want to know. Okay, I was making sure. Dude, don't. I listen here. I may have fucked up a few recordings and all their past stuff, but I like to think that I gotten better since then. Like I now know how to export shit and. Yep, you're learning, Mike. And how to name shit and how to use a computer. Toshiba, stop doing shit. Yeah, really. Accidentally bumps you with its. Oh, ring. you can spare right. it now. Yeah. Wow. It flew we got, off. Oh, okay. That's and you fine. got sixty gold for it. Did you grind, by the way? No, nah, I did not. I kept meaning to, but I, I forgot. You piece of shit. She updated status. Omg, I have had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Omg, I'm just gonna do it now. I'm gonna call. Yeah, Alpha. I don't know if you know this, but Alpha is like a hermit and like a basic like nerd. And oh, okay. She's actually calling me. Her was calling, hung up before you answered. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> got the idea from that. Okay, um, uh, hi, so, the blue lasers, uh, I mean, Alphys here, hi, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move, orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through, uh, uh move through those ones, uh, bye. My face. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Don't move. Oh, she... <laughs> Wait, there's no weather down here. Why'd she call? Jeez, that just, was... Just in case you have to backtrack. That was rough. Yeah. Oh, we left the dogs back in Snowden, though, so... Wait, what? Get it? That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery fly filters over it. She also hangs out by the dump. Oh, okay. Alphys here. They, the, the northern door will stay locked unless you solve the puzzles on the right and left. And I think you should go to the right first. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't tell me what to do. Okay. I had a feeling you were going to do that. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Lies. Alphys here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. But, as the royal scientist... I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll uh, hack into the, the Hotland Laser database. Oh, cool. Okay, so I would talk to those people. Some people have some... Uh, people have lore, by the way. I figured. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well... Uh, I guess we'll just keep standing. <laughs> they were trapped here? How terrible. They're allegedly trapped here. Allegedly. What's with the skateboard, dude? I mean, suddenly a bunch of puzzles reacted out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. 
What are you even? Uh, I get that you're a fire lady. Baby. Pe people say that's Groby's daughter. Oh, yeah, it might be. But this is Squid Face McSkateboard's dude, and I don't know what... Squid Face McSkateboard dude. I mean, uh, those are either tentacles or, like, he's got dude, two horns growing out of this RTX face. happened. Did you see the Achievement Hunter panel? I did not. I don't watch panels. Usually there's uh, Did you see the podcast? Shoot the opposing ship, move the boxes, complete the mission. Uh, I did not. A fan gave away, gave away $400 to the Achievement Hunters. Holy crap, why? Because they wanted to see a girl chug moonshine and have Ryan eat a lemon. Okay, so you have two laser beams. You have to use one to blow up that. Oh wait, okay, so I have to. Yeah, you have to at least get one out of the uh, one out of the way. I have to get one of these. I have to get boxes out of the yeah, way. Yeah, well, you, you just have to have one box in the way. So like, it's okay to shoot one laser now because uh, like having the one uh, already gone can solve the puzzle already. Because I've already seen how you solve the puzzle. Oh, did I solve it by accident? Yeah, you solved it by accident, and then. Now I do it. Yep. Bam. Oh, cool. Puzzle solved. I was very confused on what I was doing. It said shoot the opposing ship, but I didn't know yeah, how to Yeah, well, that's why you're supposed to go right first, because it was going to teach you. Oh, really? Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Funny. Piece of shit. Are you? What are you? He's coffee. Dude, wait. No, no. I know what he is. He's a... Uh, He's a poo, poo Oh, what is he called? He's the dude from uh, Fern Gully. The dude... Uh, the Pringles guy? No, he's a guy voiced by Tim Curry in Fern Gully, you know, Toxic Love. What? you never seen that? No. Well... Metaton! Yeah, he's in the most popular star in the underground. This band called Fries. He's a computer, right? He's just a computer. How does he have bands? Well, I, way to work I could side. tell <laughs> you, depending if you get enough money or not. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Yes, it would yeah, be. Yeah, it would be unfun. Oh, see, look, that was your tutorial. What is this guy? Is he just a bouncing dog head? door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting. My two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. <laughs> Are you a well, cat or a dog? Uh, or? Well, let's not worry about it. Let's just say it's a cat, because all the dogs live in Snowden. Good job, Austin. Wow, that was... Pretty easy. I'm going to talk to him now. Wow, you solved it. I'm impressed. <laughs> you must be a total nerd. Nerd! Wow, what a fucking dickhead. Can't even dodge. Dickhead, ha, huh? you're ahead. Wow, that's awesome. also that was so dick. funny, I peed my pants. Oh, God. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved it? I awesome. Much, I put too much sugar in this coffee. Really? I didn't put enough sugar in mine. Just kidding. I dip my nuts in it. That's why it tastes weird. Oh, wow. It's all nice and not hot, Lindsay. Oh, I feel like I'm about to get beaten to death. Ring. Hey, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light, uh, light system and brighten it up. Lights turn on. I just get bludgeoned to death. Oh, well, it's a good show. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. That just <laughs> rising up in the cooking hat. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. <laughs> Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. I hope it's on Diane's recipe. We're going to be making a cake. Yeah, I've been doing My it. lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. <laughs> the well, effect. we'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Sir, I am potentially That's a man sexist. or a woman. Uh, and, that's whatever uh, you perceive the character. And uh, that, that I don't take kindly to being called I perceive, uh, I perceive my character as a, as a female. Though I am flattered. I think I'm a boy. I look boyish to me. Uh, really? Because I feel so that's like a that's like a, a like a long hair to that down to the shoulders that a girl would like experiment when they're a kid. I mean, but they also don't have the physique of a uh, like a chubby kid. So and like some girls are chubby along with boys. So like. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, so so uh, okay. Hold on. First, we're gonna grab the eggs. Then we're going to grab the milk. Then we're going to grab the microwave. M MTT brand microwave. Origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in, set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. <laughs> uh, oh, no, you can't leave. Yep. 
Oils can reach temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Roasting, toasting, burning, charring. You're excited, aren't you, darling? Oh. <laughs> that rhyme caught me off guard. Oh. I'm, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to, like, look and see what's around. I'm trying to read some flavor text. Milk, eggs in the fridge. No way, darling. They get cold. This is a show about washing your hands. That's on Wednesdays. <laughs> All right. found the sugar. Great job! Just putting them in the middle of everything. Perfect! Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake a cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. And everything nice. These were the ingredients made to, to make the perfect, the perfect little, human. The perfect little girls. But Professor Metaton actually had an extra ingredient in the concoction. Chemical... Beautiful. Uh, uh, you should have said determination. You fucking blew ah, it. You, blew it. You, she, you should have jumped in. I was waiting on you. No, I was going to see if you were smart enough to make the joke, but uh, I guess I'm the funny one of this operation. Yeah, you really are. You really are. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, my. Wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? I'm scared. We're missing the most important ingredient. It's it, it's Soylent Green, isn't it? <laughs> A human soul. <laughs> He just had that under the counter like we didn't see it. Boom. <laughs> Chainsaw. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. It's all scripted. He's Hello? In. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitute in the recipe? Oh, a substitution... You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan? Uh, well, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Lapis. Oh, thank God. I didn't. I almost got chainsawed there. Someone almost did the evil dead all over my face. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. I don't want to know what that's made out of. A can of wish is just over on that corner. I, I'm just going to assume it's corner. I couldn't read it fast enough. Uh, it was counter, but you know what? Um, well, darling, why don't you go get it? I hope this is like a like a, like a an old 80s cartoon and like a cage drops on me. Even better. I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> oh, by the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the one in the uh, next minute, we're just going to have to use the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have planned. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few new features. Well, that's why it weighs about a, you know, a 10 pounds. Ton. Yeah. You see, that huge button that says jetpack. <laughs> Keep going, us. <laughs> Watch this. You know, I was kind of hoping for jetpack, but I was also kind of hoping for something else. Uh, no, you got a jetpack. <laughs> uh, jetpack works. Yeah, you should have just enough fuel to get to the top. Now, get up there. Oh my God, it's a yeah, space. Now you're gonna have to avoid things. It's a fucking harrier, like. Bullet. I think you can climb up. No, you can't. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's awesome. so much, there's much, so much you, to look at. How much do you love this game? Oh, this game is beautiful. Yeah, I know, right? This has been like the be oh god, that's best game of 2015. Yeah, actually, I like uh, there the one one of my one of my favorite game reviewers gave this his uh, number one game of 2015. And I understand why, yeah. and I, I knew nothing about it last year. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass pulled out. Yeah, uh, so now if you remember last year, do you know what the biggest indie game in indie game was besides Undertale? Yeah. No, what was it? It was Five Nights at Freddy's. That like, oh, that it, was last year, wasn't if it? If it wasn't for Undertale, Five Nights at Freddy's probably would have gotten like uh, the indie, indie game, game of the year. Yeah. It seems you bested me, but only because you had help from a brilliant Doctor Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think what would have happened if you were without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. So we can go back. Uh, wow, we, we did it. 
We did it. We really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep going. But the cake. You already... Oh, yeah, could you get the cake? It looks pretty modern. I thought... I just, oh, that was Flowey we just saw. Was that what that was? Yeah, that was Flowey. That's terrifying. Wait, he's following you throughout the entire game. Yeah, I figured. Can I not... More cake? I want the fucking cake. There's actually a... Someone made a fan animation of Flowey and Temmie. Really? And uh, Flowey, like, pecks Temmy on the uh, cheek. Temmy starts freaking out doing, like, saying weird shit. Mm -hmm. And Flowey's like, good job, Flowey. You're in love with an idiot. What I, a I, weird fan pairing. Oh, dude, this this game has it all. Because, like, you know... Oh, wait. See that building in the distance? That's the core. That's the source of all power in the underground. It bursts geothermal energy into magical electricity it's by... Not, da, 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 it's da, not just ma da, It's not just electricity. Da, 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 it's magical electricity. Da, 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 da. Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core, there's an elevator that leads directly to Asgore's castle. Very convenient. Uh, very hot, I imagine, in this castle. You, like, do you think he's... No, 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 it's a, it's a very long elevator. Ah, of course. Wait, does that mean his castle's on the surface? He was truly a human all well, along. I, no, that is uh, the true uh, monster. Actually, you're not too far away from that. His, oh. uh, his castle's right where the barrier meets the, uh, the outside. The, 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 okay, that... So he's... Uh, think of it like he's at the top of Mount Emmett. Emmett? Emmett? That's his name. What's Emmett? Uh, t Mount Ebbet is where you're in right now. Okay. Like, you're in the mountain. Okay. Oh, that's right. They, they did give this place a mountain. A name. Fuck. But they say this is where fucking... Oh, Earthbound. my God. This, they say this is where Earthbound... This looks, that actually looks like... I'm a, Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name? That, that's it? You're just Heat's Flamesman? Uh, he kind of looks like a grill... Oh, not grill, but, um... Flamboy from uh, Adventure Time. I only watched a little bit of Adventure Time. It says... Wow, what's the story with the hot dog inside its hole? Is that a hot dog? Oh, that, that, this, that is, what that the is, fuck is I, this? I don't, even, I don't even want to know. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't even notice that. That, that's actually, I didn't even think about it. And this is. Toasty bun. What is it? Is it a, it looks like a potato that was stabbed at the French fry. That's a volcano. Oh, I thought it was a potato that got stabbed at the French fry. Well, that's a hot dog. Uh. Oh. Because, like, if the other person had... So, wait, what's the story with the hot dogs? Uh, oh, wait, let's see. Sans is selling hot dogs. You want to buy us? It's only 30 gold. Should I, should I buy a hot dog? Yes. I, I want to buy it. Thanks, kid. Okay, buy one more. Buy one more. <laughs> what's up? Want to buy a hot dog? Yeah. Another, another dog? Here you go. Whoops! I'm actually out of hot dogs. Here, you can have a hot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's your What's your inventory looking like? Is it full? I I still no. I I still got space. Uh, I have one more. Buy Buy two more. Okay. You really like hot <laughs> animals, don't you? Hey, I'm not judging. <laughs> what do you give me that time? Another. Uh, yeah, give you another hot dog with a question mark. Uh, okay, now buy one more. I don't have the space. Yeah, right. Awesome. Why are you doubting me? Okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Put the hot. Now, if you had enough money, you could stack the hot dogs up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, yeah. It no, it doesn't stick with you. Oh. Post the picture. Dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figuring next to a bowl of instant noodles. Aw, that's kind of sad. I know, so, right? That's how my side Cool Skeleton 95 posted. Are we posting hot pics? Here's me and my girlfriend. It's a picture of fires flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are posted based on his arms. So, uh, are also... Jesus. So, oh, God. Well, at least this one's an enemy. Yeah, high rope bounds toward you. We're gonna heat up, man. You crank up the. Oh, actually, set, yeah, that that is how you excited. beat. You gotta keep heating it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, the move through him. That's right. Ow, ow. I don't know how I managed to get through that. Wants more heat. Heat it up. Where's this thermostat? Uh, on his uh, stomach. Is it? Nope. I you just died. died. How far back's the save point? Right before the elevator. Okay, so, so we we can skip all the hot dog stuff. All right. 
Well, should we buy some? Do they? They're healing items, right? Yeah. Are they, oh, here we are. It was right at the elevator lawn. Let's talk to Heat Fla Heat's Flamesman. So it's funny. My uh, my girlfriend. Uh, I was talking to her about Undertale because she's you know loves the game just like as everyone does. Hold on, let me talk to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So you're one of those too. I do the same thing. What talk to him just to? Yeah. Yep. Okay. But here's the weird thing though. Cypher's already talked to them. What do you mean? Oh, because it's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Undertale logic. Uh, Undertale logic is that he remembers. Like, yeah. if you notice that when you were fighting Toriel, he was, uh, debating on telling Toriel that he's killed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he decided that. not to. Um, but so, uh, you know, my, girl, my girlfriend loves Undertale, and, uh, she's like, super excited for us to be doing this playthrough. Uh. She spoiled something for you. Uh, she did. She did indeed. She spoiled, uh, she, Undying the Undying, which I am. Udine, you mean? <laughs> no. Did you tell her about Udine? I did tell her about that, how I, how I say that. Oh, this is an easier way of doing that. If I run backwards, it works. Um, but well, I, I would have uh, healed up a little bit. Oh, yeah, sure. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Okay, different one. You could probably survive this one. Oh, the bomb! Ow, I got hit by one. Okay, I would heal up. <laughs> I can spare. Can you only heal? No, you can, you can heal outside, though. It's a nice cool. Are those claws natural? I don't get what that means. Anyway, uh, but so she was talking about how she doesn't like Alphys that much. Really? Yeah, I think she said she find she finds her a little annoying. Oh, well, especially at this point, I can understand. Yeah, that. and I mean, yeah, it seems like it. Oh. Yeah. See, like, uh, like. You okay, so here is how strong my muscles. Okay, are. Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Emerald hated those games because of the cell phone. What happened in those games with the cell phone? I don't really... It's been so long since so I was... The, uh, like, trainers would call you, right? In the, like, what she's doing right now. Yeah. And they would just bother the fucking shit out of me when I'm trying to do something. Like, I'm trying to stop Team Rocket and their nefarious schemes. And I'm going to call about y Youngster Joey, uh, how his Ratatata is the best Ratatata in all the Ratatata kind. <laughs> I do think I remember that crap. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle. Anyway... Yeah, I do remember that. And they happened a lot in uh, Ruby and Sapphire did a similar thing. My favorite part about Ruby and Sapphire is you could rebattle trainers. Well, that was the same thing in Silver and Gold. When trainers called you, they um, that meant that they're ready for a battle, like a rematch. Yeah. But um, not with Youngster Joey. He would just call you and just annoy you. Oh, yeah, we got it. Did we? It'll switch. Fuck! Yeah, no. You, you, I think you have an idea there, though. I do have an idea. Oh, you got it. Well, bam. Okay, we should probably save. Uh, there's no save. Oh, okay. And that's why I said it, Dawson. People think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. Lol, that's a joke, right? I <laughs> fucking anime nerd references. Knowing that the mouse might one day get the computerized, I couldn't read that fast enough, fills it with determination. I think it was something to do with cheese, and there was a piece of cheese inside the... Oh, laser save. Laser have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Wow. It's just like a, it's just like a, how um, Dark and the Black Two was not as good as Dark and the Black One, only because maybe of, that's actually a reference. Well, it's just a reference how sequel animes just generally are good. Like you were talking about earlier, uh, I just finished Psycho Pass, and you're, and you're saying Psycho Pass. Uh, uh, well, I don't know it, but Marcy, you were you were informed by our editor that our uh, Psycho Pass Two is not as good. Though I'm interested in watching it nonetheless, and potentially it might be. We've like received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering on the hotline right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just uh, just chill, bro. We'll we'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? That shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Dude, that guy's a fucking narc. Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. Bummer. This is like mega embarrassing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? We, like, actually have to kill you and stuff. Yeah, I know you won't. Hope you don't mind. This sword's really gonna hurt. Royal Guard attack. Uh, I'm gonna clean his armor. Like, hands off the merch. Fuck oh, you. God. Dude, you're getting double teamed. Dude, they're DMXing me hard. I don't know what that is. Uh, that is an inside joke between me and Dre. I'm gonna wow, whisper. good job, man, making a good inside joke with me. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper sweet nothings into his ears. Hey baby, I like your armor. Ooh, ooh, ow! I'm gonna get. I'm getting fucked. Ooh, ooh! Give, give me that CT. 
during CT, your speed boost, recover 10 HP. Like, give us the soul, bruh. <laughs> give us the soul, bruh. A drug, bruh. That reminds me of that episode of uh, South Park. Which one? Uh, where uh, theater... Sweat pours from O2's armor. I'm trying to clean his armor. It's cool and dirt. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like, prepare to die, right? Getting warmer. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, that heals. That heals. Get it. You died. Fuck. You fucking loser. Fuck. Is this? There was a save point beforehand. I guess this is technically a boss, or like a mini boss. Oh yeah, he's basically the mini boss of the dungeon. Ugh. So in the South Park episode I saw was when Randy took his wife to the uh, theater, and they saw Wicked. Turns out every like theater production mm -hmm. has a subtle like subtle thing to put into women's mind that they want to give blowjobs right after it. <laughs> and so fuck? Randy started. He found out and he started telling like all his friends to take their wives to the uh, to the theater so everyone get blowjobs. Now the directors of all the male directors started like yelling at Randy and they challenged him to a bro off. And they're like, come at me, bruh! Come at me, bruh! Bruh, come at me! Come at me, bruh! You're not gonna come at me, bruh! <laughs> oh my god. Now I wonder, like... Because uh, so South Park, when it's at its best, has, like, subtle messages and stuff like that. Well, Lord, not, not Lord, subtle. Lord, Lord, But, like, they have messages to it. I wonder what the message of that episode is. My favorite one is about Tooth Decay. My favorite episode is Hell on Earth 2009. What was that? It is Satan having his birthday party. I remember Earth. that. And the reason why it's my favorite episode is because of the three murderers skit. That's Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, and John Wayne Gacy as the three stooges, except they're murdering people. Mm -hmm. And it is just fucking hysterical to watch. Because it's just, it's it's just, it's like the slapstick violence of the three stooges, except, you know, awful. Like, there's a point where, like, Ted, Ted Bundy's supposed to be, like, the, I forget what all the stooges' names are, but he's, like, the head stooge. And uh, he hits him and he says, Gacy, what'd you kill him for? He's like, I did it for Dahmer. For Dahmer? Yeah, he likes having sex with dead bodies. And it cuts back to Dahmer, like, humping the corpse. He's like, <laughs> Dahmer, stop, ha stop having sex with those intestines. What good are intestines if you can't have sex with them? <laughs> and for some reason, just the jokes, like, those, that's part of it. But just, well, you seem to like that kind of humor. It's just funny. It was just like, I guess it's because it was, I think it was, I think it was the clash, you know what I mean? Of, like, the, uh, fuck me. My, see, my, the reason why Tooth the Cage my favorite episode was because, like, in the South Park lore, they had already, like, killed Osama bin Laden. Yeah. A replacement for that is Mr. Mackey gets very upset when people talk about Tooth Decay because he lost his father to Tooth Decay. <laughs> and he talked about Tooth Decay like it, like it actually like kills people a whole lot. Yeah. And Mackey, uh, at the very end of the episode, they like someone killed Tooth Decay. And police come up to Mackey and they're like, Mackey, they finally got him. What? After all these years? Yeah. We can finally rest easy now knowing that Tooth Decay is gone from this planet. And he starts crying. He's like, Tooth Decay! Dad, we did it! We got Tooth Decay! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Was, like, I, I don't know why, out of every South Park episode, that one just... Uh, Fuck. Dude. I don't know how to dodge all those things. Well, do you know how to beat them? Uh, how are you supposed to beat them? I'm not telling you. Fuck. Why would I tell you? It's a puzzle. Everything's a puzzle. It is all a puzzle. Well, I can't wait when you find out what, uh, uh, what the puzzle is for the final boss. I have to... You have uh, to keep doing this, by the way. God... Hold on. If I go back and save, will I have to not? Uh, probably to... not. Do it again, just in case. Yeah, I hope. I hope if I save now that I've dealt with that, I won't have to listen to her anymore. <laughs> just realize what that says. It's the mouse hacking the uh, the computerized save. May one day hack the computerized save. All right, we can finally get. Build this. you with determination. Oh, good lord. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Come on, bro knights. Let's let's go for it. Do these two are gonna go and like touch penises later? But it's totally not homo. Uh, not here. Not not here. Not in the underground. They're all they're all gender fluid in the underground. They really are. <laughs> they, no, like seriously, gender doesn't matter here. But I, I don't imagine so. They're all they're like not human. So racist. But anyway, <laughs> Jesus, that long silence. I, I was about to make a joke and then you started like talking and it's like fuck you, man. I was about to make a. About to make a funny joke. All right, we're gonna whisper sweet nothings to guard number two. Uh, like team attack, I won't tell. No, how the fuck do I? This is easier to dodge. Ooh 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 ah uh, uh. Just sound like you jizz a little. Oh. So, dude, I've been watching a lot of Team Four Star. Have you? Yeah. What's got you into watching that? Oh, dude, it's just it's so funny. Recently, uh, the the most recent Team Four Star thing I watched was World's Strongest because it was the most recent movie that came out. Yeah. And I thought it was hilarious. Dude, like, 
every and like every episode I watch it over and over again. I rewatch it. It just never gets old to me. My favorite is definitely the uh any any scene with Guru is my favorite. Really? I find Guru and mind you I had someone who constantly quoted him to me, so uh Oh. I got a little tired of hearing Guru jokes. But I think uh my favorite episode is actually in the Namek uh arc of Team Four Star. It's when Vegeta and Gohan meet up. Oh. Oh, you throwing like, my plans? Yeah, throwing throwing my plans. plans. Are you? No? Good, because I'd be bad. How bad? I'd have to kill you. That's, That's pretty bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. He's like, and he's like, uh, says something. He's like, I need an adult. Uh, or he's like, uh, no, but me, I can help you. Uh, I need an adult. I am an, an adult. adult. Knees him in the stomach. <laughs> uh, but no, the, uh, what's it called? My favorite part about that is later. It's just the scream, the scream that goes through time and space. Oh, like, yeah. I like how in the uh, Future Trunks movie... Yeah, you that can, they actually you, put in the screen. Yeah, <laughs> I love that part. But I love the uh, I love it's just the part like, you know, like uh, with uh, Frieza, where it's like, uh, what on earth is that noise? Vegeta, when he's out there, he's like, I'm here for it. I'm here for what? Dragon Ball hand, please now. And uh, he's like, I don't have it. His eye, his blood vessel of hops. Like, no, no. And it's uh, where am I? Uh, Where's Nappa? Uh, where where are you? Yeah. Didn't you kill him? Yes. yes. He's I, dead. I did it. Forever. That's <laughs> such a great scene. All right, what am I, oh, I got to do this. Okay, so one of my, uh, that also another another favorite of mine is anything with Nail and Piccolo. Yeah. Like, I like how Nail, Whoa, like, he's getting shirtless. Yep. Much better. Oh, man, his friend's sweating. Yeah, no, he's into him. <laughs> Looks bothered by something. It's on the Tell her you want to be honest with this feeling. I, I... Oh, no. Yeah, look, he's too distracted to keep working as a team. Oh, that's amazing. But, uh, like, my, Dude, my favorite can't... quote from Team Four Star is, uh, oh, I'll let you read this. And I like this. Like, O2, I like, I like, like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attack. <laughs> <laughs> I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving out weapons and stuff. O2, I, like, want to stay like this. <laughs> oh, this is a touching scene between yeah. two bro knights. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. <laughs> oh, one. Yeah, bro? Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. We're looking at each other happily. Yeah! How, how sweet. You got 100 gold for that. Aw. But yeah, no, my... I can't wait to murder them in the genocide run. (laughs) They'll never be able to tell each other they're touching love when I have a frying pan in their face. But yet, you'll... You'll, uh, you'll know. But, uh, one of my, uh, one of my favorite quotes is, uh, when they first get back to, uh... make you, that forget, uh, that make you forget to do your freaking job. And, uh, Nail's like, hey, ever thought about buying a house? Yeah, let me get right on that with all that money money I don't don't have. have. I love, uh, I love in, um... I think it's the movie with uh, Lord Slug. The the what? Because he rips off his ears. He's like, uh, Go on, do the thing! Yeah, I hate. yeah, the thing that really annoys me. You mean talk? What? what? You <laughs> must not be doing it! He's not reacting! <laughs> yeah, he's not doing enough. The thing at the waterfall. Oh, oh you mean whistle. whistle. Alright, so I'm about, to get, uh, I'm about to get mugged again. Okay, I'm back. Another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got the things to cover. So speaking of hacking and stealth games, do you want to know games free right now? No, uh, please don't tell me. Well, last month it was Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. This month it's Splinter Cell. Oh, thank God. What did you think it was? I thought it was Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're on TV. Uh, I see Are that. you serious? Oh, yes! NTT <laughs> brand still top rated. School canceled over reactivated puzzles. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metatom reporting live from NTT News. Time to see over health benefits of using... An interesting situation has arisen in the <laughs> Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something noteworthy to report. Local Metatom, very rich, famous, and gorgeous. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Dude, only ten? Get wrecked, son. Uh, yeah, no, you seriously have to move. Oh, God. Oh, hey, look at basketball. 
Basketballs are a blast, isn't it, darling? Too, Too bad, bad you can't, can't play with these balls. He's talking about his balls. These are their MTT brand of fashion basketballs for wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like... Mm, what? With, with, like moi, without beautifying a few orbs. He's talking about shining balls in your mouth. Report! Now nah, we're going to look more. Let's see what else there's in. There's a dog! Okay, we're coming back to the dog. AKA, AKA Toby Fox. Uh, is that, is that Twilight Hall? Oh, speaking of Twilight, man. We spent a lot of time yesterday on our way back talking about Twilight. My oh, really though? My Why? girlfriend and Dre just like discussed Twilight and it was very interesting. Let me guess, Dre loves Twilight because he's a pansy. He read the thir first three books and watched What the first a loser! Movies. He needs to get a life. And he actually likes some of it. Oh man, he really just did it for vagina, I bet. Uh, no, as far as oh, I anyway. in, my, in my world, he did it. What a... What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see a headline now. A dog exists somewhere. <laughs> Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one? Report. Attention viewers, our correspondent has found a dog. Cue audience Oz. That's right folks, that's the feel good story of the year. Look at the little ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. <laughs> That's right. That dog is a bomb. Or is everything a bomb? But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room. Oh, good lord. Everything's, everything's a, bomb. a bomb. Oh, my. It seems everything in this area is actually... Oh, okay. I already said that. Yeah, but I, I guessed it. That presents a problem. The basketball's a bomb. Even my words are... Bra, a brave correspondent. Bra, correspondent. <laughs> the big bomb will blow the smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible. How disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. By the way, they really do only have nine viewers. Don't worry. Oh, wait. Don't worry. I've installed a bomb diffusion program Aww. on your phone. Use this to diffuse your... Now go get him! Get the dog. You have to defuse it. Oh, wait, wait. Defuse it. No, you can't attack it. Act. Oh, act. Annoying dog. Defuse bomb. You missed. Got it. Oh, okay. That's only slightly annoying. Great job! Oh, okay. Try to go for the button next little foot. Oh, wait. I want to get this one first. Good job. Right yeah, I can't believe you actually caught that. Got it. Good job, Ben. All right, all right. Oh, what? Oh, there was another one there. Eighty seconds left. Four more bombs. Good lord. It's okay. Take the hits if you have to, sweetie. Yep. Defuse the game bomb. Uh, oh, that's annoying. Oh. That's annoying. Forty-six seconds left. Fuck me. Just fuck me in my pretty little asshole. Okay, one and win, babe. Yep. Can you, like, is it a, should we tell your girlfriend first, or? Uh, I mean, we'll get her on it. <laughs> There's only one left at the top. What do you say, top right? Uh, yeah, oh, well, yeah. yeah, it's up there. Austin, I'm not going to lie to you. Yo. There's only one more left. Oh, you got them all. Yep. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, and the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. What a jerk. I like your suit, though. Still alive. Ah! It seems the bomb isn't going off. Ring. That's because while you were monologuing, I. If. I. Fix. Um, I changed. Oh no. You deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. This is going down. Until the next time, darling. Wow, we really showed him. Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more...
more confident about guiding you. So don't worry about the big dumb robot. I'll protect you from him. Uh, uh, if any re if it really came down to it, I would just um never mind. So you're gonna turn off the game on me? What? No. What makes you think that? Uh, there's a point in this game where the game does a restart joke, a uh, restart thing on you, isn't there? No. You see, you say that, but I have been informed through a review of a different game that it does do the, that sort of thing to you. Maybe not in this playthrough. I'm not not in this playthrough. Ah. You, you won't experience it. Oh, uh, not until later. I noticed you've been quiet, kind of quiet. Yeah, because you haven't let me say a fucking word since we met. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't talk a lot. Uh, it's mainly due to the fact that I, uh, I, I fell... I got hit in the head with a rock, and uh, right now I'm just screaming internally. Have you seen the Crash Bandicoot uh, Crash's uh, silent protagonist party? No. <laughs> yeah, it's like every silent protagonist in the in like gaming history, and they're all in the same room like drinking beer, and Crash Bandicoot comes in, and he just doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just what? Just doesn't shut the fuck up. I, I do. I love Crash Bandicoot. Crash are, Bandicoot's my childhood. Are you excited yeah. for the uh, see, uh, the remake, the HD remake? Is it a HD remake of the original? Yeah. Ooh, yes I am. Right, is that going to be a game that we're going to be playing? Yes, we will, sir. Are you going to be playing it? Uh, yeah. Yes, that's that, that's what you were going to uh, say. Left 4-3. Sure. I mean, I can't remember at this point. I mean, you guess, because I think I saw L3 on the door. L is a character from Death Note. Yes, he was. Hey, uh, just we also one. talked a lot about Death Note. Uh, okay, so do you want to like stop here for now? Yeah, let's pause here. All right, well, all right. guys, it's been a wonderful episode. If you liked it, this like, comment, and subscribe. It. This is going to last as long as Metaton's character in the game, isn't it? Who are you talking about? Yes, okay. I got Sunbird on my right shoulder.